Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, coming to you with two weeks worth of scruff and stubble on my face. That's right. You haven't seen me since my last shave off where I shaved my face and I went ahead and shaved my goatee. Since then, I decided to take a hiatus to do you a favor and talk all about grain map. What is grain map, you may ask. So, you may have heard the term thrown around, you may have heard people say, you know, you need to go with the grain or against the grain or whatever, and you're asking yourself, I don't even know what the grain is. If you make a mistake and go online, you may find a chart that has a generic guy's face just showing random arrows of what direction the average guy's beard may or may not grow. Well, Maybe you're average, maybe you're above average, maybe you're below average, but I know you're not average. You are you. You're a unique guy. And so the best way to find out is to do this. You need to take a little time, maybe not two weeks. You probably could have told uh, what kind of direction was with just after one week. But you need to take a little time and grow out your facial hair and really look at it. Now, I've been doing this for two weeks and it's getting to the point where I cannot wait to shave because it's sitting so scruffy and itchy. But that's another story. I have plenty of nice hair length where I can finally see some direction and some spiraling. And if you're trying to do a with the grain shave, what is with the grain? Because with the grain could be down on your cheek, but check this out. I got this weird like spiral thing here where it starts to go sideways and this is going up. So we're gonna fill out one of these together. You can find this on our website at razoremporium.com backslash grain map. Um, and we'll also have a link for that in the description below. So let's get started. I'm gonna work on this as if I'm kind of looking at my myself, not necessarily the camera's flipped image or whatever. We'll, we'll have it figured out for you on your end. Um, all right, so I'm looking at my cheeks first. And like most guys, my hair generally goes down on both sides of my cheeks. That's good. That's easy. So I'm just going to put a couple arrows here showing that this is down. Maybe maybe slightly it's going um, here kind of this way. Maybe very so slightly and maybe kind of straight down but kind of maybe like this a little bit. It looks like on my goatee area I got some hairs over here that are going almost sideways. They're almost going like this. So I'm going to notate that because if it comes to my with the grain kind of area, that's important that my hair and my goatee kind of comes out like this. But the middle, it comes straight down. So that's good. My mustache generally looks like it's pretty much just coming down, maybe a little bit over here to the side. Another tip you can do is use something to kind of uh, rub against your beard growth and you can really then feel and hear the sound of the grain. So I'm just going to use a double edge razor blade that's still in the wrapper. You can use a credit card or a business card or whatever. If you go like this, it feels very easy. That obviously a lot of resistance and the sound also changes. I mean, I was also just using my fingers for the last you know, week or so and just feeling it constantly kind of you go like this and it feels like it's lifting the hair way up and I go like this and it feels like it's laying the hair down. So that's also obviously a good indicator. But my neck is really where stuff starts to get interesting. We got it's starting to go in towards my Adam's apple here. So almost kind of continuing what the cheeks doing. But then here it's starting to really go sideways. There's like this little patchy kind of area right in here where it's turning an angle kind of above my Adam's apple. And you can see it almost kind of goes like this and pulls over to this corner here. And this kind of curves as well. So my almost my entire neck is kind of doing this over to the right hand side, my right hand side. But that's just on this kind of this top area of my neck. The area that's kind of below my Adam's apple, which my Adam's apple is right here, this whole area 
actually does just the opposite. It's now going up and in that same direction. So that took me the, the longest time to kind of realize I kept on having issues with irritation on my neck and I didn't understand why. Um, because I would just, if I was doing my neck, I was just going to go straight down and I would just mow from, you know, my jaw all the way down. And I was wondering, why do I have this irritation on this lower band of my neck? And that's why, because I didn't know what, what direction the grain was going. So here's mine I just filled out, all complete. And you can see these different areas of growth we were just talking about on the bottom of the neck going this way. And this, these ones going the other direction. My cheeks coming down, my goatee kind of flaring out on either side, kind of down in the middle. My mustache kind of generally going down, maybe a little bit out. But it's not your typical chart. It's not the same one as just the generic guy who's just sitting there and his lines are just going in straight directions. It's, it's unique to me. But now with this tool, when I go to shave, my with the grain pass, I actually know what with the grain really is. And so it's my job now to commit this to memory and to keep this in mind when I'm doing my shaves, whether it's one pass, two pass, three pass, doesn't matter. You need to know how to identify the grain so you can get the most irritation-free, comfortable shaves out there. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned to Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Uh, we enjoy making these videos for you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know every time we make a new video for you, our valued customer. We'll see you next time.